Hi, welcome back. Today I want to just do an overview of an application I use to control the thermals and the clock speeds and everything of my AMD Radeon uh, 7900GRE. Here I have core control open. It's just an overclocking program like right here you have the default profile that it has but you can also look at your uh, CPU stuff but what I did is when you hit this plus you can create a new profile and I created one for gaming and I actually gave it I set it to curve and I actually did bump this up just slightly to make the fans on the card turn on earlier than normal because I do have a game like a uh, Final Fantasy 7 remake the card without this setting it'll sit there with the fans not running because in a huge amount of the game it's not putting enough load on the GPU uh, so the fans don't run <laughs> but then when it hits that point it ramps the fans almost to 100% which I'd rather not hear and with this the card stays fairly silent but also getting the fans to kick in earlier is actually a good thing because I did bump the power limit up to 280 and something I do have a 40 millivolt undervolt on the card so far that is stable my maximum uh, gpu clock speed i have it set to 2803 it'll sometimes hit 2700 depending on the load of the game now memory the way vram is reported on an amd gpu under linux um <laughs> You get the clock speed of the VRAM, which is essentially divided by two. If you look at it under Windows, this would be times two this. I got this speed by looking at the speed I had under Windows, divided it by two, got this number, typed it in, and I, I consistently get this speed if I force a game into full screen. If it's not in full screen, you can set it to window 3D, uh, but this does work really good on games. Um, as you can see, you've got your information here. Fan right now is at zero RPM. We're using 58 watts right now because we're utilizing the uh, media engine over a VA API to capture video of this. So we're close to 60 watts. As you can see, we're 688 millivolts. Even under load, my millivolt, my voltage, does not go over the mid, I would say the mid to high 900 millivolts. Under Windows, this will hit actually, you know, over a thousand millivolts uh, memory temperature is decent junction i don't really monitor that because that number is always going to be higher than the core the junction is actually the hottest spot on the die and i monitor the just the core temp here down at the bottom here on my kde install uh, memory is currently 456 um, i do have a minimum set though for 500 but that's only when a game is running with this you can set other minimums for stuff like davinci resolve and other things like that you can set minimums on this program to get really good different performance levels depending on the programs you're running and obviously i would just take this duplicate it you know i would make a duplicate of this stuff here but then i would set it to stuff like video or compute or you could do window 3d but you know i usually set it to video stuff like that for power profile and their performance mode obviously you know you got advanced which is where you can specify this stuff you can go back you can either turn it on here you can do that or if you hit x it minimizes the program it doesn't close it and you can right click and select your profile here. It's really good. I do use it for managing stuff in my games that I run. Uh, and we will do a test here really quick, actually. I'm going to go here. We're going to turn on the gaming profile, which, as you can see there, is on. And if I right click, you can see that it is on. So we're going to launch uh, possibly Control because I know that's a game I can force into full screen. So while we wait for control to launch here, 
we can monitor this stuff here. I have a mango head running and I do actually have, uh, it is Proton Catchy OS installed, the specific version that lets me have access to NT Sync with the 614 kernel. So an NT Sync, I have a actual review of that coming soon because it has caused issues in Final Fantasy VII Remake, so I had to just shut off NT Sync or switch to a different Proton version that doesn't have NT Sync. And because it makes the game in cutscenes freeze, but then the audio continues to go forward. Obviously, I have my OptiScaler running on this game. As you can see, if I uh, hit insert on the keyboard, that is running. So we'll continue game. And I may have to uh, disable OptiScaler to force load on the video card. Because as you can see, well, we're at 98. But sometimes the VRAM clock speed does not adhere in the game. But as you can see, we're at 245, 46 watts. So depending on the game, uh, you may or may not get your VRAM clocks to jump up. With this card, I've had it be hit or miss depending on the game. Um, with this game, I've honestly sometimes get it to jump up. Sometimes I believe that's an issue with the kernel. Uh, you do have the launch options, which I'll put up on screen here that you do need to add to your grub uh, bootloader to get full access to the GPU and that is the same if you use the tool lacked which I will be doing a review on that soon to see if it gives me better control however as you can see I'm sitting around 900 900 millivolts you know 899 Clock speeds are good. Uh, you know, I, I'll hit 23, 2400 megahertz, which is higher than what the card is straight out of box on its own. So, you know, and with this stuff, you know, it just really depends on how you plan on using your uh, hardware. So we'll just uh, see how performance goes while we're doing this. Oh, I missed you, didn't I? <laughs> but so far, runs really good. Uh, I would like uh, to test other AMD cards obviously in the future uh possibly nvidia cards but i'd be hard pressed to actually uh to invest in in nvidia card honestly with the pricing on them right now with the pricing of the amd cards also is not great but hopefully we can get some cards in stock soon. That way I can do some further testing of newer cards. But as you can see, I'm staying below a thousand millivolts now when it, with this. And the temperatures on the card are really good. The fan on the card is running instead of starting and stopping. Because I, I do have slightly ex excess of uh, fans in my case. I have like, <laughs> I've got like uh, five fans just as intake alone. And then four is exhaust. So in three of those fans are directly below the video cards. So no matter what, the video card's getting active cooling. And believe me, if I don't use the fan curves and I do this power limit increase, 
Uh, the card will actually hit over 70 Celsius. Actually, if I don't allow the fans to start running earlier. But it stays nice and quiet, keeps the temps at a good level. You know, especially with a game like this that has a lot of uh, things going on on screen all at once. Oh, let's finish this off. <laughs> I know there's one more, I heard him. should be over but so far you know this is very good there's a lot of games I don't bother raising the power limit or doing any overclock at all because it doesn't help the game at all because the game honestly just runs at a really high frame rate on its own anyways but as you can see, the CPU temps are low. The GPU temps stayed in the 50 Celsius range down there in the 50s, which is where I like to see my temps all the time anyways. I would definitely recommend giving this a try. Um, do recommend, though, that if you're going to do this, uh, go in knowing what you're going to do or knowing what you're doing because you can damage your hardware overclock too much with undervolting that just helps the card run cooler you know if you undervolt too much you may just have a system crash you know i was running a negative 30 for a while but i decided to lower it even more because this fan curve was ramping up even more and i did not like the noise so i decided to try a little bit more aggressive undervolt which, you know, if I do boot into Windows, this is essentially what I set the Adrenaline software to. So far, you know, this program I do like. Uh, soon I want to check out Lact here on my Arch system. So we'll give that a try next. And we'll see how that goes in some other games. But I plan on doing some benchmark videos with an overclock for the stock speed of this card. And then... And overclock and I will report if a game allows the VRAM to jump up in speed or not also which I'll have Mango HUD up on screen for all of that if there's any other software you'd like to see uh, look forward to some future uh, how-to videos and some uh, specific application features here on the channel for Linux and some future gaming videos uh, like subscribe comment below and I'll see you in the next video later